Good morning, everybody. Victoria here from Bumblebeans. How are you? Oh, look, someone's saying, don't forget me. Jenny Egg's here too. Right, Jenny Egg? Yeah, I say good morning. She's going, what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm playing with Christmas quilt blocks. I took a break from my double wedding rings that I'm working on over on my other wall. And I just got so inspired. Uh, I had a couple friends the other day here sewing and they were making Christmas ornaments and they're really really cute look at this little one this is from my friend Helen who I called my quilt mom isn't that so sweet look at it yes Jenny Egg isn't that cute yeah Jenny Egg agrees she did good so Helen uh, her blog is Helen no blog uh, I call her my quilt mom she's a very dear friend of mine and She's just lovely. So she made me my cute little Santa Claus. And I just got so inspired. I was like, I haven't made a Christmas quilt this year. So of course I had to come in and play with my reds and my greens and lime greens, of course. Um, and some of my novelty fabrics. Oh, gasp. Did I say novelty fabrics? Yeah. Most of you know that I, I don't really use novelty fabrics very much, but... If I'm going to make a good Christmas quilt, then I have no problem throwing some novelty fabrics in there. So who can pass up a really cute little Santa Christmas fabric? Not me. Anyway, so yeah, this little quilt I got working up back here. I fussy cut these little ladies. That's in some of the star points. And which one is it? This one. And this one's got some reindeers and Santas in it. And this one right peppermint twists in it. And just sort of going through all my fabrics and see what I can dig up and use. I kind of like how this one worked with all the different dots in the dark green and where they land. It looks like it's really twinkling. I added some extra spikes in here. Oh, I should say that this is a template set that I picked up from Kathy Doty when I was in Australia. It's one of her patterns from, from her second book, I believe, uh, Joy, uh, quilt, Making Quilts for Joy. Um, I'll put the link in the post. Um, I just thought, I need to make another star quilt, and I thought, oh, I have those templates. I want to go play with those. So she has those on her website, and I'm just having a great time. They go together very quickly. You piece the whole thing. There's nothing applique. Even better. So, you know, I made a few of those last night, and I made a few this morning, and I think maybe I'll make nine, and then figure out what I want to do on the border. I see a big spiky border going all the way around there. That, might, that part will probably take me a while. I'll get the circles and stuff done, and then I'll probably sit here till next December when I realize I want to have another Christmas quilt done. <laughs> so I'll worry about getting it finished later. But for the minute, I'm just having a little playtime and thinking I need to head down to City Quilter and buy some more red and green and lime fabrics because you can never have enough. So do you have a color when you go to the quilt shop? Is there a color that you just like beeline for? Um, for me... Red. Always looking for the best red. Although I have to say lime green is not far behind. Um, they're just they're great happy colors, but a good red, nothing better. So that's what I'm doing. What are you doing to prepare for the holidays? I should probably be doing some Christmas shopping, Christmas buying. I might just hit Amazon here in a few minutes. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm becoming a homebody. I need to just be home and get all my stuff done. Um, and uh, doing some grocery shopping so that I could go and uh, hopefully make some Christmas cookies this weekend with Beatrice, who uh, one of the things she asked for for Christmas was to have cooking time with me in the kitchen, which I love that. She's a great baker. I have no issues with her baking. She's fabulous, but she has a great palate too, so I've just got to get her uh, learning how to cook a few more things, and she's going to be good to go. What about you? You need a haircut. Santa needs to bring you a haircut. Yes, he does. You're a little fuzzy bear. She's like a little brown fuzzy caterpillar. She's so woolly, you can't even tell that she's in there. Right? Are you in there? Are you in there? Oh. She's just going to stare at me. Anyway, that's what I got going today. Make sure you visit the last blog post. Uh, we're giving away a Havel's rotary cutter and mat. That time of year, I always find I have to replace my rotary cutter mats at this time of year. So that's what I'm going to be uh, 
putting on my Christmas list. I need a great big new one for my uh, cutting table. Um, but make sure you leave a comment. It was pretty funny last week when we did Megan Doherty's book, um, Cool Thing Isn't Funny. I asked for people to comment on burritos. Do you know how funny it is to wake up in the morning and check your emails and there's like 50 emails of people talking about black bean burritos, chicken burritos, pork burritos. It was really hilarious and a bit too spicy for me first thing in the morning. So this time we're just keeping it to favorite holiday song. Doesn't have to be Christmas. Can be any holiday. I'm open. Uh, it's been much more enjoyable and less spicy. Um, but, you know, I do love the burrito. Anyway, so I'm going to put in the Christmas music. I'm going to crank it up loud. I'm going to make a couple more blocks. And I'm going to get back to work. So happy holiday shopping. I hope you guys are ready to go, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Oh, Jenny, you come up to say goodbye? Can you say bye? Can you say goodbye? Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Can I say goodbye? She's very quiet today. She's usually so vocal. All right. Whatever. Bye.